Hello everyone, this is final project group of Omar Gauch model with NTS distribution in Chinese market. Today we will introduce the final result of our group research. As we said in the proposal presentation, we conducted the study according to the following process. First, calculating in sample y noise of historical data. Then, fitting the residue result with distributions and calculating the degree of fitting result with KS test. Finally, backtesting the result from the aspect of value at risk. And the conclusion will be shown at the end. Here's the first part. In sample white noise of historical period from 2004 to 2013, the coefficients and the residue results will be used to establish the prediction model for projection period. The graph on the, this page shows ET of the Amagash model. And this is sigma T of the model. Before we move on to the next part, let us take a look at transform the T distribution we will mention during our project. Assume the probability distribution function of student t distribution is fx. Then we can find one of transformed t distributions with the following probability distribution function. As we can see in the picture, compared with student t, this transformed t distribution is relatively thinner and taller, which will be helpful for our research. Okay. Now, let's move to fitting result. In terms of the probability density function and the cumulative density function, we consider four different types of distributions to fit the white noise eta t of SSE50, which are normal NTS transform t with a degree of 4.2 and the student t with a degree of 5, respectively. From the plot shown in the right, the black line represents the empirical distribution, and we can see that this line lines between transform T distribution and the NTS distribution. Similarly, from, from a CDF plot, transform T distribution and the NTS distribution fit the data better than the other two distributions. In conclusion, both NTS distribution and the transform T distribution can fit SSE 50 well. Okay, so the third part is the KS test of the empirical data. KS test is a kind of non-parametric test that are used to compare a sample with a reference probability distribution, which is called one sample KS test, or to compare two samples, which is called two sample KS test. The KS test quantifies a distance between the empirical distribution function of the sample and the cumulative distribution function of the reference probability distribution in the one sample KS test, or between two empirical distribution functions derived from two samples in the two sample KS test. Therefore, the maximal distance is the key of the KS test. Based on our data from 2004 to 2013, we took a one sample KS test relative to the distributions we discussed. According to the results, the empirical data is not distributed with the normal distribution and the student's T distribution. However, it fits the NTS distribution and transform T distribution. Besides, we took a two sample case test with two samples derived from 1,000 times Monte Carlo simulation of the tested distribution and the empirical distribution. The rejection rates from the chart also implies better fitness of NTS distri distribution and transform T distribution with the empirical samples. 
now is a back testing. Uh, the out of sample for back testing is the daily return of SSE 50 from 2014 to 2020. Based on the 1% value at risk and 1% the conditional value at risk, we proceeded the Cupix failure proportion test. Here are all results. First one is normal distribution. The black line is the white noise abstracted from real data by Amagarch model. The green one is VAR, and the red one is for AVAR. Next one is student T distribution. We can see VAR and AVAR are much lower than empirical white noise. And so the accuracy of student's T distribution is very bad. And these two are the NTS distribution and transform the T distribution. And VAR and AVAR from transport, uh, transform the T distribution are lower but that is not equal to which one is better than the other one. When we come to the failure proportion in terms of VAR, whose proportion is closer to 1%, whose performance is better. Normal distribution is just not too bad. Distribution, uh, student T distribution is the worst one. It's so far away from uh, 1%. NTS is good, and transform T distribution is slightly better than NTS. Finally, we'll show you our conclusion. Well, before we did this research, we knew that the NTS distribution fitted well in the US store market. That's the reason why we would like to test it in the Chinese store market. Um, when we apply different distributions into Chinese store market, normal distribution and T distribution are not appropriate at all. And we find that both NTS distribution and transport T distribution can fit SSE 50 very well. Although the NTS distribution is slightly underperformed than transport T in SSE 50. Transport T distribution cannot keep stable in linear combination. Therefore, NTS distribution can be applied in linear transformation to analyze a portfolio because of its stability. In conclusion, NTS distribution is a very potential innovation in Chinese stock market. We should think about how to do more deep research on temper stable distribution family. Okay, that's the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.